In the last video about leadership, I talked about the idea that what makes leaders leaders in all kinds of settings, whether they are CEOs, volunteers, parents, middle managers, what makes leaders leaders is that they talk about the future. They describe the future to the people who are following. In this video, I want to extend this concept a little bit further and say that it's not enough for a leader to simply talk about the future. If a leader stands up in front of the group and says, in 10 years, we are going to have three times as many sales and we're going to dominate our industry and we will be the winners and then sits back down, it really leaves something lacking. And what it leaves lacking is that the group of people who are following this leader are in the present and they need to know what is going to connect the dots between the present where we are now and the future where you're saying we're going and what that connect what connects that is a plan or a strategy so a leader needs not only to see the future be able to describe it in a compelling way but a leader needs to be able to create a strategy and communicate a strategy in a compelling way. This allows the people uh, who are following to, number one, um, believe in the vision, which is easier when there's a realistic strategy of how to get there. Number two, um, to know what to do because hope is not a strategy. Cheerleading is not a strategy. The people need to know what to do to actually move the organization along towards this future vision. Skills and abilities that the leader needs to be able to do this are um, one, to hold on to the vision. I think there's a danger all along the way of getting involved in the strategy and the operations and losing sight of this future destination where we want to end up. Number two, um, to strategize. And this is something that a leader does not have to do on their own. In an organization of any size, there will be people who are good at analysis, people who are good at research, people who are good at planning, who can craft a plan with the leader about how to get from the present to the future. So I'll say with help. And then thirdly, again, the leader must have the ability to communicate in a clear way that shows the realistic nature of the strategy that makes it believable and compelling that we really can get there from here. So I'm going to add to the list, not only does the leader answer the question of where are we going and what it will be like when we get there, but also how will we get there from here.